everybody and welcome back. Uh, uh, thanks for all the lovely messages last week. I had to fly home and, and visit my mum, who's ninety, almost ninety-seven. She'll be ninety-seven in December, and she's doing she's doing well, thank you. Uh, so I didn't have um, a lot of uh, footage, obviously, because I was in Ireland. But what I did is when I changed the engine and wax wing, uh, a lot of people were saying, "Would I put up the video?" And I just never got round to it. So I I have all that recorded. So that's what this week's video is about. Is I took out. I had a, a Thornycroft 154, which was I, I'd imagine was the original engine from 1980. It was probably rebuilt because it was running very well. Um, but it did let me down once in Madeira, the, the injection pump went, which I replaced and the injector is, but it, it was time. This, this week's episode is taking out the old Thornycroft engine and putting in a Yanmar uh, 75 horsepower. It's the 4JHTE, which is a big upgrade. And there was a lot of work uh, it wasn't just changing the engine, it was changing the engine beds, uh, the exhaust was a different diameter and you know so on and so forth but it was well worth it. So I hope you enjoy. January morning in uh, Greystones Marina in County Wicklow, uh, waiting for the weather to improve to make our way up to Malahide to lift out. in the weather and uh, very little wind in fact I'm going to get the head sail up now shortly and uh, a nice day to get up and the, the engine's last run so fair play to the engine it looked after me well Nice calm morning in Malahide. Uh, it's the calm before the storm because it's get crazy again tomorrow. I was amazed to see how clean Waxwing came out. That's after two years and thousands and thousands of miles. I mean, a lot of miles. Uh, it's self-polishing paint from Seajet. Uh, apart from the water line, she's very good. I have the Seajet uh, Peller Clean on as well, and it looked really, really good. I'm delighted. So just stripping down the engine, as you can see, and get a block and tackle and uh, lift it out the hatch hopefully, but uh, it's a handy setup, a lot of access to the engine, the shaft uncoupled, the exhaust system off, the oil cooler is off, engine mounts off. My poor boat's destroyed. <laughs> Be worth it though. All worth it. Because of the width of the, the hatch, which is 22 inches, I had to strip off quite a bit of, uh, of the engine. As you can see. <laughs> Gearbox and starter and nothing too serious. But uh, just make it quicker for the teleporter because I'm paying probably by the, the minute. <laughs> You can see I had to modify the, the beds uh, because the, the Anmar is a little bit n narrower than the Thornycroft. Engine in. Got to put the water strainer. And now I'm just running a new exhaust. But just to go out here, through here, out through the port. Look at this. The port locker <laughs> up into the lazarette and out the transom. This is life in the boatyard. My poor boat. <laughs> mm. 
like a complete building site. And that's about 10 different jobs, wiring, engine, painting, new exhaust. View is nice. <laughs> between uh, fitting the engine and all the other jobs I've uh, anti-fouled as well I went with sea jet again and uh, I got white this time but it's it's fine so uh, ready to go back in the water now and finish off a few bits with the engine um, like the exhaust properly it's running but I just need to tweak it properly So that's the old um, water trap muffler, but it was the wrong diameter. So I bought the new Vitus down in, um, in Cork yesterday in Union Chandlery of Roger. Uh, so I had to rip out the floor because that's higher than the floor. I have no choice. So I'll have to put a step, a bit of carpentry involved, getting there slowly. And today, hopefully, the tail comes for my water feed. Uh, so the next thing to do now, uh, I've given a lot of test runs now that I'm in the water. Uh, it's pumping perfectly. Everything is perfect. It's I just love starting it. It's, it's so nice. I just go out and start it just to start it. So the next thing now is give it a good run, and then I'll be going down to uh, back to Greystones probably tomorrow or the next day. The weather looks good. It's very light winds, even though it's uh, early early spring. You know, early in the year. It's not even spring. Uh, so job uh, well done and nice to get the anti foul done. I did my anodes, uh, my propeller, have a back prop. Uh, I got a lot of work done. Like it's best to take advantage of being out and you're paying to be out and travel hoists and all that. So I got everything done. So I'm good now for a while. So I'm I'm, I'm keen now to give her a good run. I've only I've only move uh moved her from the travel hoist to to the marina. So we'll give her a good spin and. Uh, and take it easy with her and I, I I read all the the manual and you know I want to, I want to look after this engine it's a it's a big investment you know and a great addition to waxwing like the old engine was super it was a big 2.5 liter uh, Thornycroft uh, but it was you know I was always kind of tweaking it and adding bits and then you'd have to get something and so uh, waxwing deserves a new engine well, the weather didn't behave as planned, but we're on the way and it's a good test. So that's the final installation now. I get my bed back as well <laughs> so you can see for anyone that's interested you can see the old beds and then I, I got pieces of steel cut and bolted them down and then got the legs the engine mounts onto that either side as I said the engine was just that little bit narrower than my old uh, Thornycroft um, I put in a nice uh, Raycar filter even though I have the, the the engine filter, which is lovely. I love the engine, it's fantastic. I can't stop looking at it. Uh, 
uh, Vetus um, anti-siphon and I actually put the, the header tank up high so I can see it so I always know what the, the level is and it made it easier for bleeding um, the water heater which was good uh, lovely water filter and I had to build a step as I said look I'm a carpenter so, that's my my new uh, water trap anti-siphon again from from Union Chandler from Roger so so while I was at all the work I also put in uh, a diesel polishing system for anyone that's interested in that so down at the end of my tank it's a bit messy in there now because I haven't finished tidying the wiring down at the end of my tank there was a runoff that I used runoff uh, like a liter every six months so I took a feed off that and put it onto another Raycar filter and through a small fuel pump and then it pumps it back into my tank again. so it goes it comes from the bottom of the tank through the filter then it's pumped with the, the little 12 volt pump I just flick a switch over here and it comes on so I run it when I'm running the engine and then it, it it's completely separate from the engine system from the engine fuel filters and that so then it just go it returns into the top of the tank so it's just constantly uh cleaning my diesel before it ever gets to the engine which is good it's a nice addition so i'm working on another boat here that's why i'm in this marina i was doing a, a full refit on a yacht uh solar wind jenny d400 uh new hydro vane blah 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 so it's easy i'm just finished No short pants and t-shirts. Hmm. Uh, so it's handy. Um, in the same marina. Uh, I've just I've been up in um, Malahide working up there. Uh, go to Arklow next. And then after that, who knows? Well, here's Waxwing. Very messy after the winter. <laughs> See the new bottom paint. I used to see jet again. I love it. Best thing I ever put on. Uh, dinghy. It's really winterized. I put new solar on top of the. Um, I put the hard top on. And the solar. It's nice. I got a lot of. Uh, got a lot of solar now as well as the wind, Jenny. Put in a new inverter as well. I did a pile of it. Just, just for anyone that's not from Ireland, uh, uh, obviously the red triangle is me. Uh, Dublin here. I was up here uh, a few weeks ago, and then I'll be down to uh, Wicklow. I'll probably be down to Arklow. Then probably Kilmore Key. Cork and Sale, and all, 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 all Cork is beautiful, uh, Valencia Island, one of my favourite places in Ireland, and then Dingle, where, where I was from, and back up to Shannon maybe, I don't know, I don't know, uh, um, that's that's the other thing, uh, uh, where to go now, what to do, what are the plans, uh, do you know what, for once I've no plans and I love it, um, I suppose the first thing, uh, I'm doing as I'm going sailing. Uh, you know, I, I've been working flat out. Uh, it's a long winter in Ireland on, on a boat. I've a lot done to her. Um, in the meantime, you know, it's uh, add stuff you wouldn't notice, but um, I put a uh, cockpit enclosure and a hard top, lovely solar on top of the hard top. I extended the bed actually, which was a good idea and it was simple. Um, I'll show you the marina. It's just evening time now, I just finished working, had a shower. That's the solar on top, it's nice, uh, nice spectron. Nice marina here. Very well protected actually with a big breakwater. Um, boat's a mess now, but uh, anyway. 
So I hope you enjoyed that. I, I certainly enjoyed fitting it. Now, I, I had great help as well from uh, Paul in Offshore Marine in Burtonport. Uh, he was a great, great guy, a lovely guy, and gave me great advice and help. And uh, so it, it's running great. It, uh, I've had no issues with it whatsoever. Uh, beautiful engine. So uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed that. It's a different type of video, but it's part of my life and part of the boat and part of what I do so I can sail. So uh, very important. So uh, uh, thanks also to the new Patreons, which is brilliant. It really helps. Um, uh, the link is above or below. Um, so wishing everyone a good week. Uh, Waxwing out.